Hey there, everybody. What is going on? Let's see who we got here. We got Alex TV, Kitsune Crown. We got uh, Psyche or Azrael in here. Uh, SVT Sparkle Party. Uh, Gabriella. Jess is here. What is up? Kim. Kim's in here. Just for the role play tonight on the Twitch stream. We go undercover. Not undercover. <laughs> We're going to be a correctional officer at the prison. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up? Mr. Z oh, I can't see with the shades. <laughs> Mixzibit. This is for when we go into the prison. We got to put those inmates in line. We're going to have date night as well. I got a candle ready right here. Gonna light a candle. I got some donuts. We're gonna have a proper date this time on the charity stream over there on Twitch. Supporting Doctors Without Borders. Alright. Go ahead and dive right into some Path or Path of Exile. Phasmophobia. We'll probably play some Path and maybe some Valheim and maybe some Devour. Try and mix it up because we're probably gonna stream on YouTube and hop over to Twitch and take a little break in between. Uh, the charity stream, so that way, that way we can get our role play stuff ready. We can get our all dressed up and everything. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's start with the asylum. Let's get warmed up. Lighter, crucifix, video cam, salt, smudgy, tripod, strong flashlight, motion sensor, thermo. Oh yes, it's going to be a fun charity stream, for sure. It's uh, from 10 central to 12 central. Or if you're eastern time, from 11 to 1 a.m. Hey, Fortnite baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You got your notification on the Craigslist account? Nice. I am doing great. Jess and I went and had some breakfast, had some coffee, got some stuff ready for tonight's charity stream. Now we're ready to get going. Ready to have a blast doing all kinds of stuff today. All right, we're here. I'm going to be playing a lot of Phasmo, so I got other games lined up as well. <laughs> so that way I don't just get burnt out on the Phasmo today. <laughs> Paul Garcia, Salt, EMF, and Crucifix. Going in blind. Where are the breaker? Breakers downstairs to the left. Okay. I believe you watched me at 200 subs, and then I just launched up to 20,000. Thank you. We're doing pretty good, and we got affiliate on Twitch as well, and we're up to over 35 subs on Twitch too. We got affiliate. Yesterday was our first affiliate stream, and we got 35 subs. Need to play Pacify. Devour is actually the same thing as Pacify, except for Devour is scarier than Pacify. I thought Devour was a lot creepier than Pacify was. Mm -mm. Oh, appreciate it. Wish I could pronounce your name. I have no idea, though. <laughs> From Russia. I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> Hey Vader, what's going on? First live stream, nice. We're doing a live stream here on YouTube, then we're going to do a live stream on Twitch, and then we got a charity stream on Twitch as well. Where were you, Breaker? You were in a longer room. I think you're over here in the first uh, storage room. Mm -mm -mm. Where are you? Which side are you on? I know you're over here. You down here? That is downstairs to the left. Nope. A little further down, maybe. Called Good Day. Nice. Every day is a good day if you make it be one. Okay, never mind. I thought I heard dirty water for a second. The day is how you perceive it to be. 
There should be a breaker somewhere. I thought I said downstairs to the left in the in the van. I have no idea. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We can find it without a breaker. Let me shut these doors. The very left? You think it's all the way down at the end? I thought it was more in one of these storage rooms. No, it's not in here. Should be in one of these first storage rooms. It looked like it was just right to the left of the elevator. Maybe I went too far. You love pizza? We had omelets and waffles for breakfast. So good. Hey, Eric. Well, I had an omelet and waffle. Just had eggs and waffle. Belgian waffle. Delicioso. Is the temperature still messed up? No, it's working as intended. In uh, professional difficulty, it's supposed to be free or it's supposed to be below 10 degrees until you turn on the breaker. That's how it's supposed to work. Where are you, breaker? Not in the bathroom. There's the elevator right there. It looked like it was to the left side. Oh well, forget it. We'll find it another way. I wonder if, is it under here perhaps? No. Well, it's only a lot of work in places like the asylum. In, this, in the houses and the farmhouses, the breaker's really easy to find. Doesn't take hardly any time at all. Like in Tanglewood, it's either in the basement or in the garage, so I take you what, like 10 seconds to go turn it on? The asylum's a little bit more annoying, but not too bad when you know the map. Unfortunately, I thought it was downstairs to the left, but I couldn't find it. Let's look at the uh, van panel again. Perhaps we were mistaken. Ooh, I heard a door. Never mind. We don't need it. Mm -mm. Should be right over here on this side. There he is. Freezing? Yep. Here's your book. Go ahead and write in it. Let's go ahead and get our freezing temperatures. You don't necessarily need temps. You can find it just like that. Hey Omar, what's going on? What is up? There's a lot of activity. Might be EMF 5 ghost as well. Let's get our EMF. Let's go ahead and put some salt down. Why not? It'd be quick and easy. Quick and easy. EMF 5 and salt. Come on. Heard a flick over there. Sounds like it might be a little roamer. Wonder if it's a banshee. Alright, salt it up. Already stepped in it. Four so far. Give me a sign! How's this door right here? Two. Alright, we'll go get some more stuff while we wait for it to ramp up. Let's grab the spirit box and the UV light now. Dead of Night Part 2? Probably not for a long time if there is one. Probably wait in a good like two or three years, I would imagine. Spirit box and UV. Let's go. Mm -mm. How come you're not streaming on Twitch too? Well, uh, it's against the terms of service really to stream on multiple platforms, like to treat stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time simultaneously. It's very discouraged. They find out about it. 
Where are you? How old are you? Why are you here? What do you want? Okay. Uh, fingies? Yep. We got some fingerprints. Makes me think it's that much more of a banshee because the only other option is the spirit box for a wraith. And it's not talking to us. Give us a sign. There's a sign. Two again. Alright, let's get the other stuff going. Uh, four. No, I'm gonna stream on Twitch later. <laughs> Just because I don't stream on multiple does like at the same time. I'm gonna do YouTube now and then I'm gonna go over to Twitch and we got the charity stream on Twitch. Today's the charity stream. <laughs> We're doing both. We're doing YouTube streams and Twitch streams. It's just you shouldn't do both of them at the same time because again, a lot of people, or I'm, I'm sure some people do it, but if they find out about it, you're not going to be happy with the results. It should be fine. It's a banshee. It's, it should be a large area. There we go. That way the crucifix can get done sooner than later. It's always an annoying objective, so the sooner we can pop those in, then we'll have time. Yes, charity stream tonight, 10 p.m. Central to 12 a.m. for Doctors Without Borders. Amazing charity. Let's go grab our donuts while we're waiting around for something to happen. Oh, I actually need the camera to stay here then. Yeah, it would be no bueno if they found out that you were streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. That's not what they want because, of course, YouTube and Twitch are kind of like competitors when it comes to the Twitch or to the live stream. I know Twitch is miles above it because that's their sole focus. They don't do like recorded videos as much. They have like past broadcasts, but even those go away after a few days. But Twitch and YouTube are competing again in the streaming market, so Twitch and YouTube don't want you streaming on the other one. <laughs> they want you coming to them. Play Ark. Ark say? Nah, I'm good. I don't play Ark. If I was gonna play a, a open world survival game, I'd play Seven Days to Die. That's so much, so much more fun for me. I enjoy that one a lot better than Ark. I've played Ark before. Seven Days to Die is a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, Zoshin TV, thank you for that Twitch follow. Yeah, have you played Seven Days to Die, John? That one's really good. That's a really good survival. If you like survival games, I think you like that. You sucked at Ark, yeah. The graphics on Seven Days to Die is better too. Hey Nick Plays, especially with the last update. You didn't like it? When's the last time you played it? Because they've had so many updates. Like the graphics are so much better. They have new zombie models that look so much better. Dragon Gamer 2018, thank you for that Twitch follow. Like three years ago? Oh yeah. Yeah, if you already have it then, I would revisit it, John. It is so much better now. Every update, they do something crazy. And this last update, they crazily improved uh, the uh, zombie models. The zombies are now smarter, so they dig down. So you can't make like an underground base and just be good. Um, guns are a little bit harder to get in the beginning, but they get easier as you go. Uh, next update, they're going to do vehicle mods. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to do a Let's Play on 7 Days to Die on the next update. Because on console, so I try to... Oh, yeah. No, console is leagues behind. Because consoles, I think they lost their license or something like a long time ago. And so where they're at on console, they're never going to get any further. But on PC is where they've updated the game. So if you try it on PC, you're going to like it. Trust me. It is so much fun. Yes, I will be playing Resident Evil Village. In fact, Resident Evil 7 is going to be our next uh, horror let's play on the channel. So we're going to be doing some... We're going to be doing Phasmo and then Resident Evil 7. Now that we beat the medium. Hey, Smiles. What's going on? Yeah, I'm starting early because I'm going to stream on YouTube. Then I'm going to stream on Twitch. And then we got the charity stream tonight. What's my favorite map? Uh, Bleasdale for sure. 
I also got Valheim, and that's a, supposed to be a survival game. I played it a little bit. It seemed really interesting and fun. It's a new game, like just came out like yesterday or the day before. Early access, but it's the number one top game on the top sellers on Steam. So that's kind of crazy for a game that just came out out of early access to be number one top selling. Oh yeah, we're doing a lot of streaming today. That's why I say a crazy stream day today. We're streaming here, we're streaming on Twitch, and we're doing the community or the charity stream. It's going to be crazy. All the objectives should be done, including crucifix. What was your name? I don't even know the ghost's name. I just started coming in here and finding everything. Hey, Kari. Hey, Adrian. Oh, I'll try to keep it PG though, because I have a lot of younger viewers. Crucifix still needs done. What's your name, Paul? Like, I have a lot of viewers that are like 12, 13. Oh, hey, Poofy Lake. <laughs> Poofy Lake followed me on Twitch. That's my IRL friend. His name is John Cena. Yeah, we're trying to mix it up with uh, uh, Phasmo and then another spooky game. Just because I have so many hours in Phasmo that I'm like, okay, I need to do something else now, too. <laughs> I can't just play Phasmo. I don't know. A lot of streamers can, and I'm just like, okay, like, I can't do that. I gotta do some other stuff, too. Ooh, here we go. Hey, Jacob. Hey, the Jari. Oh, the, yeah, the Jari. I was right. Mm-mm-mm. Well, I don't mind it. I don't know if they cuss or not, but I know their parents watch with them, and I'm sure they would or they like it. I'm not, I've been, they told me personally that they enjoy that I'm more family friendly, so they can watch it with their kids and not have to worry about their kids saying stuff like that in front of them or anything. I don't think it really subtracts that much for the stream either. People seem to enjoy the content if I'm cursing or not. Paul, hey, is she? Paul, oh, come on. Yeah, I have... Actually, how much hours do I have in Phasmo? Uh, 380. Yeah, 380 hours. So eventually I'm like, alright, I want to play another game. There's so many great games out there, it's, it feels bad to restrict yourself to just one. I know Phasmophobia is my uh, highest viewed game, so I'm, I know you all enjoy it a lot too. So I'm going to keep it coming, but I'm also going to do other stuff too. Hey, Fomka. Looking forward to Little Nightmares 2? Yes, it comes out in four days. Devour? Will it replace Phasmo? No way. But Devour is a lot better than Pacify, I'll say that much. He keeps flipping switches. Oh, yeah, we had fingerprints. Let me go get those fingerprints right here. There we go. I think uh, Devour was spookier than Pacify. Pacify was more funny to me, especially with the babies running around naked. You haven't slept in a while? You should get some rest. Especially so you can be well rested for tonight's charity stream over on the Phasmophobia community so we can support our Doctors Without Borders. Even tuning in. Even tuning in is a uh, help. Helps the stream. More viewers brings more people in, which brings more donations so those Doctors Without Borders can help the people overseas and get everything they need. I didn't expect them to gurgle in my face that soon. Give us a sign! That's EMF 5 right there. No, 4? I was surprised. Oh, come on! Do something! Our crucifixes are... Oh, this one's gone. This crucifix is gone. So crucifix objective is done. Let's go ahead and take this one away now. Now that I know the crucifix objective is done. Alright, come here. There we go. Let me move that away. Hey princess. So that way we can have some fun with the ghost. Put it right here on the computer. Oh, no, go through the computer. That's also a thing that could happen, I guess. You left the beard. 
Uh, yeah, well, we haven't done the charity stream yet. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about shaving it, but I don't know. I don't know. We might just reach our donation goal without having to shave it. Are you stuck? Where are you? No, you spawned over here. There you are, naked boy. Oh, come on. Got him that time. Oh, he's close. He's closer than I thought he was. I was over here messing around. He's right on top of us. Oh, leave me alone. Paul, no. Okay, good. <laughs> it's closer than I thought. Jeez. Don't shave it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll, we'll still get the donations. I think people will still have a lot of fun uh, with the uh, date night role play and the uh, correctional officer role play. What we got here? All right, we got everything. Let's go. I've got those, um, well, I didn't get the exact glass, but I'm planning on doing a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio raised glass meme with a monster in the glass. <laughs> get all ghetto with it. Uh, photo camera, lighter, crucifix, video camera, salt smudgies, tripod, strong flashlight, motion, and thermo. Ooh. We have a tier one subscription from Poofy Lake over on Twitch. Thank you so much, Jacob. <laughs> Another date night. I forewarned her. This one's going to be a nice date night. We got a candle ready. Right here, we're going to light this candle up. We got actual donuts that we'll be dining with, with our date. We're going to put on some dress clothes, at least the top. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be a good date. Going to wine the ghost and dine the ghost. Here we go. Uh, it's in the garage. What's your name? Joseph, EMF Smudge in Motion. Yeah, we're going to go all out for the charity stream. No! 380 hours in the game, by the way. Joseph was your name, right? What do we have? EMF Smudge and Motion. Are you going to do viewer games right now? I'll probably do viewer games here in a second because I'm not going to do it tonight obviously because we're going to be doing uh, the charity stream charity stream viewer games would just be so convoluted I feel like waiting for people to join and stuff well, let's go turn on the breaker I guess shame yep I got shamed all the way back to the van no Ouija bone we got a bone though Played Cyberpunk for 100 or 125 hours. I played it for how much hours do I have Cyberpunk? I played for 56 hours, but I didn't beat it. I haven't beaten it. <laughs> yeah, so the charity stream will just be me doing some solo runs, role playing. Oh, this door was open. Did I open this door? Or did you open this door? Is anything moved? I feel like you're moved a little bit. Maybe not, though. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop our stuff. We'll come back in with some more stuff. Mm -mm. Dead of Night? Yeah, that's a survival game, too. That's more like uh, Seven Days to Die. It's the vibes I get.
Oh, at Dead of Night. Yeah, I played that one. I have a full uh, Let's Play on uh, on YouTube. Full playthrough, even the ending. I know there was like something about the dev not wanting to show the ending, but I'm not sure why, because there's been a lot of live action games like that before that people have played all the way through. I don't really understand the difference. Like, remember Night Shift? A lot of people played Night Shift all the way through. Uh, let's see. Did you write in the book yet? No. It is freezing right here. Right? Or is it in the hallway? No, it's in the bathroom. Is it in the ha hallway and the bathroom? It's like regular here, but in the bathroom it's negative. Yeah, you're in here somewhere. Oh, appreciate it. Good day. At Dead Night was how you found my channel. Awesome. Yep, a lot of views on that game because a lot of people were looking for the ending. A lot of people would watch people like uh, John Wolf and a few other stream or YouTubers, and they didn't get the ending, and so they came over to my channel and found me from there. <laughs> Pick three different colors: uh, silver, black, and white. Those are kind of my logo colors. Right, we got freezing temperatures. That's all we have so far. Yo, what's up, Odd Gaming? Your friend made you watch me? I'm not that bad. <laughs> uh, let's get a, a boosh cam in there. You're playing Terraria? Nice. I beat Terraria all the way through. Not in the hardcore mode, but on was it I think the mode above uh, right below that medium I think it's called or whatever that was a good game I got the uh, ultimate sword and then after I got the ultimate sword I was satisfied with having a uh, what I call beat the game I beat all the bosses I got the ultimate sword and I was like okay I'm good where are you oh you're not you're in the bathtub then fill up with blood that'd be awesome Spirit box. We don't have writing yet. Let's move the book a little bit. I don't know if that's going to make any difference, though. Wow. Seriously. Let's keep it there. So that means you're either, what, a wraith, mare, or demon. All right, let's go look for a ghost storm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah, I play uh, viewer games all the time, John. All the time. Oosh! Right there. It's a mare. Uh, let's get a smudgy now for that objective. What's your favorite horror game you have played on your channel so far? Um, not including Phasmophobia? Probably... Mm. I don't know. Little Nightmares was fun, but it wasn't really scary. It was just fun platforming. The next scary game... That's a tough one. Maybe, uh... Maybe so far at Dead of Night. It was kind of complicated sometimes to figure out what clues to put with what. But it was a good scary game. I jumped a lot. <laughs> I jumped a lot in that game. I don't really jump that often. <laughs> Scrutinized? Yeah, I've heard about that before, too. There's so many good scary games. I still need to play the Outlast series as well. But Resident Evil 8 comes out in May, so I want to play the 7th. Because I never played the 7th. And then there's going to be a new Outlast game, so I want to beat the two Outlasts that are out. And then... I'm not sure what to go from there. Oh, uh, Dark Ember had gifted me, I believe it's Dark Ember, or Erica. Uh, they gifted me uh, Song of Horror, so I gotta play Song of Horror as well. That one, that one should be pretty good. And then, uh, after that, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be more. I'm sure Red Resident Evil, or, oh, Little Nightmares 2 is coming out. That was you, Dark Ember? Yes. Little Nightmares 2 is coming out in four days, so I wanna play 
Little Nightmares 2. We got a lot on the list <laughs> to play. We have a lot of games coming out. Give me a sign. Show yourself. Show me your presence. Do something. You haven't finished Resident Evil 6? I played the, the second remastered one. That was a lot of fun. How old are you? Oh, we can go grab the bone while we're waiting for something to happen. Oh, we didn't even checked this room for the Ouija board yet. No Ouija. We should go raid Nino Pino, but I'm streaming still. <laughs> you don't raid in the middle of the stream. And after we get done streaming here, we're gonna go stream on Twitch. And we got the charity stream. Hey, Anthony. Oh yeah, I have a couple episodes of Five Night at Freddy's with the VR headset. I should do some more sometime. There's so many games, like I was saying, so many games I want to play. It's hard to find time in the day and work full time as well. Oh yeah, Don't Be Afraid was really good too. Come on, hunt us, let's go. There we go. Oh. Got him. Into the locker. The invulnerable locker. Favorite map is probably Bleasdale. We're safe. I wonder when they're going to patch these lockers. He's just going to walk into it and not kill us. They should patch these lockers and fix them. It's no fun just running into here. <laughs> but now he's on top of me, so I can't get out. <laughs> oh, I've showed it on a lot of stuff. The devs know about it, I'm sure. I'm sure they watch other streamers too and they go into the locker. We have 20 Phasmophobia streamers on the charity stream. I think we're about halfway through. Anthony, I'm doing great. We got a crazy stream day. Streaming on YouTube, streaming on Twitch, and we got charity stream on Twitch as well through the Phasmophobia community. So far, they've raised close to $20,000 on the charity for Doctors Without Borders. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty good. I don't know what else I'm doing in here. I got everything I need. 20000 dollars just about. I think last time I looked, we were at like over seventeen five. And Dodoro is going up next. Or she's up now. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. <laughs> they raised twenty three thousand. Yeah, I haven't checked since uh, Insum was going, and he was at seventeen five. Let me see. I'm so excited to go up at ten. 10 p.m. Central to 12 a.m. Yep, $23,300 is what they raised. $25,000 is the next goal. Only $2,000 away. We're going to hit that for sure. That's awesome. That's crazy support right there. Crazy, crazy support. Uh, is this an international stream or are there only U.S. streamers? There, I know uh, Nuzgard streamed and he's in U.K. And uh, Insum streamed and he's... Uh, Norwegian. So they're international too. Hey, what's up? How old am I? 30. 30 years old. Uh, thermo motion, strong flashlight, try smudge, salt. 
Yeah, the Phasmophobia community is filled with a great diverse uh, line of streamers from all over. We have a lot of diverse streamers. There we go. Hey, thanks, Azir. Yeah, Nuzgard played yesterday. No reports of violence or sighting. No, oh, oh, timed out. Oh, what? That's the first time I timed out in Bleasdale. That's weird. Weird. All right, we'll go to high school then. I've never timed out in Bleasdale. If I time out, it's usually in the asylum. Hopefully that doesn't happen on the live stream. <laughs> That'd be rough. Uh, strong flashlight and motion sensor. Mm -mm -mm. You love high school? High school's fun. What kind of PC do I have? It should be in my about me and my specs in my YouTube channel. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go. Brownstone, we got Margaret. Violence, please. Ghost event, photo, and smudge. Oh, they left in a hurry. Should be in my about me. Uh, Stefanma, you want to check that out on the channel? Shows you my specs. Uh, Margaret, ghost event, ghost photo, and smudge. Margaret, gotta remember that. Mm -mm -mm. It's also on my Twitch page as well. Oh, wait. Did I grab the key? I'm second guessing myself now. I don't want to shame. I don't want to shame. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it, but I don't want to shame. Okay, good. I grabbed it. I don't have a favorite of all time. I have a group of favorites, but it's hard to just nail down one favorite horror movie. I like um, Cabin in the Woods. I like Freddy Krueger Part 3, Dream Warriors. I like Hellraisers, um, the second one. I like... I thought um, Lights Off was pretty good. But if I had to pick a favorite horror villain, I'd say Freddy Krueger was my favorite horror villain. But a horror movie is kind of difficult. They're all good, but for different reasons. Like Cabin in the Woods is more of a horror comedy. <laughs> It chapter 2. Uh, I thought the first chapter of the new It's were scarier than the second chapter. I thought It chapter 1 was scarier than It chapter 2. It's probably because they were like kids, so it seems more like like they're at a disadvantage, like they couldn't defend themselves. And when you get older or you get like a weapon or something like that, obvi or you obviously or you automatically become less scary to me. Like, any game where you can defend yourself against the ghost or whatever, like if you have a gun, like in Dead Space, then that's less scary to me in a game where you're completely powerless and you just have to run to survive or hide or sneak. That's scarier to me than a game where you're just like, I'm just going to shoot you in the face. How about that? Margaret! Margaret! I hear water upstairs. Right above me. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Zephyr. Come on, Margaret. Go and get that dirty water for me. Nice and early. There we go. Turn on these lights right here. 
last bathroom right here. Alright. Put our book down. What's the temps at? Not freezing. Well, they did have a gun in that dead of night. They had guns. They had a sword. Like a huge sword. They had a dagger. They had, um... Some other stuff that she could have used as weapons. All those bats. But she was just like, nope, I ain't touching nothing. I ain't gonna use nothing to defend myself. I'm just gonna walk around completely defenseless. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, how did you grow your channel? Just by being consistent and then taking care to focus on the quality of the video and the audio that you put out uh, editing the video and by editing watching it all the way through and cutting snippets of places that don't sound as good or fixing it up like actually spend time doing quality care to your stuff instead of just putting it out there as soon as you think it's ready it looks like an emf5 um trying to improve every day do some research when it comes to Trying to make more uh, enticing thumbnails or titles or try to figure out how the alg algorithm works. That's really important. It's not enough just to post. You got to figure out that YouTube algorithm as well. Uh, let's get a EMF reader. There is lots of stuff you can do to grow the channel. Try to establish a community. Make sure you're being active in your comment section of your channel. Uh, read the comments, reply to the comments, like the comments, heart the comments. All that good stuff. I would say doing it in consistency is probably the most important things. Too many people wait, think they need the best gear to do it. You just gotta do it. You won't improve until you start. <laughs> here we go. We got a bush cam in here. Put it down this long hallway. Hey, Wecker. Heard a footstep right here. Right, let's go get the other two pieces of evidence that we need and then we'll have everything that we could put in here to figure out which ghost it is. Very active with that door. Probably going to be some fingerprints. Good old high school. Now, I can't wait till they add more ghost events. I want to see more stuff happen. I feel like that's what got me, that's what drew me in uh, to Phasmophobia in the first place. All the uh, ghost breath and the manifestation and all that stuff too. Like getting caught off guard by that. And now that I have 380 hours in, I know everything that's going to happen pretty much. I can, a lot of times I can usually call stuff. I can be like, okay, the ghost is going to ha stop hunting now. Or okay, the ghost is going to show fingerprints as soon as we get back. And then it'll happen or something. A lot of times I can call that stuff before it happens. Because I'm so familiar with the game. Uh, who do you think had the saddest death in Dead of Night? Probably Amy. I think Amy's was kind of weird though. Because it's like, I mean, I know she's a little girl and she had alcohol. But I don't think, I don't think any little kid, even if they have alcohol, like her age, she was like pretty sound of mind. She wasn't like, um... Like, too young to think. I guess, logically, at least. But she was like... After she had alcohol, she's like, I wonder if I could jump down from the third floor down to the first floor on the staircase. Like, even if you're a younger kid and you have alcohol, I'm not sure if that's what you would think. It's kind of hard for me to buy that. I 
I know, she was like, I believe I can jump down there. I'm like, I don't know, even as a little kid, like if I was Amy's age, like back when I was Amy's age, if I had alcohol, I don't think I could be like, I bet I could jump down from the third floor to the first floor, especially because the way the stairs were, it was so narrow. Like the little the little opening was so narrow. Like you would know, obviously, if you jump down, you're gonna hit yourself. You're gonna hit your head or your arms or something. So I just don't buy that. Maybe she did, maybe. But if you think about it, I don't think so. Hey! Uh, 20 pound donation. I promised you Jack and Coke once you hit 10K subs. So here it is, keeping my promise. Road to 100K, my dude. Appreciate it. That's awesome. I need to get some coke. But we got monster and coffee today for our uh, huge stream day here on YouTube and Twitch. Where are you? How old are you? Adult. Adults. Bed's a kid. Into the muddy, uh, musky water. That's why I like my stuff. I hear humming. Into the water. Yes. Or she was right here. Uh, fingerprints. No prints yet. No writing. Give me a piece of evidence. You give me spirit box. And I have EMF 5, I believe, just from the uh, doors. Uh-oh. Jin or Oni? I think it's probably going to be a, a Jin then. It's probably going to be a ghost orb. Uh, do I have anything else in my hands? No. Let's go get some optional objectives. I know, it's probably going to be like a 12 hour stream. If you think about it, we started, what, an hour ago or something like that? Around 2? And we're going to stream here on YouTube for a while. And then we're going to go over to Twitch. And then we're going to do the charity stream. And the charity stream will last until 12 a.m. So, what? what is that? 8, 10 hour stream? Maybe after the charity stream, we'll do some uh, chill POE, some Path of Exile. I want to get to maps on Path of Exile. We just beat Act 6. No, we're on Act 6. Yeah, we're working on Act 6 now, so we want to get to maps by today. Hey, Back to the Future. Oh yeah, we're gonna stay caffeinated and have a good day streaming. It's gonna be a huge stream. Boosh, right there, called it. It's a gin. Whoop. My phone fell. Chat fell. Uh, ghost photo and smudgy. Okay, let's go ahead and get a smudgy going. How's our sanity? 57%. It should hunt us pretty soon. Some gin would be good. <laughs> I know that's uh, my friend Jacob, Poofy Lake, his favorite drink. Hey, Cupex. Ha ha. Why? Ha ha. Hey. <laughs> you must have a small desk. Yes, I do. Not much room on this desk. I would get a bigger one, but I don't have much room in this apartment either. But I'll be getting a new apartment, hopefully by the summer. Uh, EV02K, appreciate that Twitch follow. Now you can stay up to date when we start going live on Twitch. So I should be moving around summer to a bigger place, and then I can get a bigger desk. Then I can get a second monitor. And I can no longer just look down at my phone to reach at. It's going to be awesome. Smudge it up. Let's smudge it up. Light a smudgy for the homies. Into the toilet. Oh, there we go. Uh, Zinx third. Zinx third. Thank you for that Twitch follow. They can stay up to date when we go live on Twitch. And then once we do the charity stream too.
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Have you played Cuphead or Bendy and the Ink Machine? I have played Cuphead, yes. That was before I did YouTube. I did Cuphead. I beat it fairly quickly. It wasn't a very long game. It was fun, though. I liked the art a lot. Uh, one gram, thank you for that Twitch follow. No, I look at my phone for chat. <laughs> I have it plugged in, and I have it pulled up. That's why you see me looking down constantly, because I'm looking at chat. Have you heard a game called uh, Noida? Yes, I have. Mm -mm. Still waiting on your shirt. Should be there in 10 days. Nice. You got a Craigslist ghost hunting shirt. Merch is down in the description. These shirts are really nice, too. Dark Ember got her stuff. She likes it as a, lot, a lot as well. So does Jess. I like it because a lot of t-shirt companies will have, like, that print on them. That's, like, you can almost peel it off. And you have to be afraid to wash it. Uh, DC Becker 18, thank you for that Twitch follow. You have to be afraid to wash it because you don't want it to wear off or anything. I know I was watching one Twitch streamer, and they were talking about how their merch... Uh, if you wash it, it's best to turn it inside out to wash it so it doesn't wear off. Like it lasts longer. But Teespring does pretty good. I'm, I'm surprised with the quality. It feels good to me. It fits well too. The uh, sizes actually fit accordingly. Like I usually wear a medium t-shirt. And a lot of places if you go like on Amazon or something like that and order t-shirts, you have to like maybe order a size up or a size smaller. But I ordered a medium and it fits great. Uh, Captain Rank, thank you for that Twitch follow. Alright, so we got a gin. Unfortunately, we're not going to have any other kind of evidence for it, or that we could take a photo of. We're just looking for a ghost photo, really. Oh, dirty water. Hey! Another dirty water, there we go. Oh, another dirty water. Sorry, I closed the door on me. Hey, some guy. Appreciate it. Definitely going to keep it up. Here we go. Three dirty water photos. That's what I'm talking about. Have you played Subnautica? Yes, I have. I haven't beaten it, though. I think I've gotten really close, though. That's usually how it is for me in games. <laughs> Unless I'm doing a, a series on it. I've finished pretty much every horror series. I don't think I've left any horror series gone. But a lot of times before I would stream, or before YouTube and stuff, I would play a game, and I'd get pretty far at it, and then another game would come out, and I'd get drawn to that game, and I'd start playing that game, and so on and so forth. Same thing happened to me with uh, the long, dark... Looks like chocolate milk. What? This right here? Oh. This is a uh, Bolt House Farms Mocha Cappuccino. Oh. A Ginny Gin friend is hunting. Cappuccino. Oh, hello there. Hello there, little lady. Oh, we got her crawling out. That's a good photo right there. You gotta be careful of these lockers here. Yeah, be careful backing up with these lockers. If we clipped on a locker, we're dead. We got some uh, distance on her now. We should be good to go. Follow us down the stairs. She's coming. Probably gained a little bit there. There we go. You like the chai tea boathouse drink? Yeah. Boathouse drinks are really good, but they're kind of expensive. Like this one, this is like four bucks. But if you think about it, like if you go to Starbucks and get a large drink, you're spending more than four bucks. So this is a four buck coffee that's uh, 32 ounces. Whereas if you went to Starbucks and got a venti, which is 20 ounces, you're spending like six, seven dollars. <laughs> so I justify it with myself that way. 
Plus, it's just as delicious. I think it's more delicious. Sometimes, sometimes Starbucks can be hit and miss with your drink, you know? Like, if you have a certain kind of drink you like, you might order it one time and it tastes really good. And you might order it again and it's like, ugh. Could have used a little bit more sweetener, a little bit more mocha, whatever you like. Alright, we got everything we need. Hey, Deb. What's up? Oh, yeah, I can't wait for the charity stream, too. We got some uh, role play stuff ready to go. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready. Welcome here. back. Yeah, whenever I get Starbucks, the rare times I do, I always tell them light ice. I haven't gotten it in a long time, though, because the line is just so long. Like, there's a Starbucks here, but it's only open from, like, 6 or 5, some, 5 or 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., and then it closes. But every time you go in the morning, the line's, like, wrapped around, so I'm just like, forget it. I ain't waiting in that line for a coffee. Forget that. I got other stuff to do. I got more important things to do than sit in line for like 30 minutes for a cup of coffee that I'll probably drink in like 5-10 minutes. <laughs> Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Alright. Let's get our uh, get our wheel in here. Let's get our some challenges going. Sounds fun to me. Mm -mm. Alright, random wheel picker. So we'll kind of do what we did last time. We had a lot of fun last time. Uh, everybody gets their own individual challenges. So everybody gets two challenges. Love the shades? Appreciate it. This is part of the cosplay. We become a correctional officer at the prison. Inmate, get back in your cell! Joseph Taylor, what are you doing out of your hold? He's probably going to be in B block and A block like they are all, all are. Most of the ghosts are in the blocks. Gotta go monotone. Back in your cell, inmate. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm snowing. I wish it was snowing here. It feels so good outside though. It's like 70 something. It's like a little breezy. Uh, Stefan, Stefan Irma. Thank you for that Twitch follow. Let's do some viewer games. Uh, let's pull up the wheel first. Let's pull up the wheel on my window capture. There it is. Can you show? Oh, it's invisible. There we go. You look like a dark-haired Horatio. I don't know who Horatio is. <laughs> Who's Horatio? Wait, I'll just... I'll just put on... Uh, I'll get my leather jacket on. I'll just go biker mode. Yes, I looked like a biker earlier when I wore my leather jacket and my shades. Whoop. Okay, good. I pressed something. We're still good. <laughs> I thought I pressed the button. Get the leather jacket on. Get the shades on. Now we're a biker. That's what Jess said. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. CSI Miami. What? How did it go? <laughs> the uh, CSI thing. <laughs> Looks like he'll never be ahead of an organization. Screw that up. Looks like he'll never get ahead. <laughs> if 
biker mode enabled. Just need a Harley. From Men in Black, I need a little pen thing. I don't have a pen thing. I have this thing. I have this thing right here. Be like, look into, look into this. <laughs> What's your favorite? What's your thoughts on Ridgeview? It's okay. It's a good map. Uh, without the invulnerable lockers, once they patch those, people are going to have a hard time. All right, let's do viewer games. Enough playing around. Let's do something. Let's do something. Let me pull up the wheel again. Wheel! There we go. Just had a call for it. Asylum! Ooh! Hopefully we get some good ones. Hopefully we get some good challenges. Asylum can be kind of easy without some good challenges. Oh, Horatio is from CSI Miami. Gotcha. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. I just know the... Or whatever it's called. <laughs> that sound effect that plays when he takes his glasses off and says something snarky. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's get let's get the people in the lobby first. First we gotta get the lobby. Hopefully nobody crashes on the asylum. I can't believe we timed out of Bleasdale, of all places. Private game. Asylum. There we go. Professional difficulty, please. Let's go and get all the items in because we don't know what the challenge is going to be. Do you have a VR headset? Yes, I have the Quest 2. And I enjoy it. I have no problems with that. I know a lot of people are against the Quest 2. Mostly because of Facebook thing, but I don't have any issues. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, Isabel, we are early. We're going to be streaming on YouTube and Twitch, and we got the Twitch charity stream for Doctors Without Borders for the official Phasmophobia community. Because, if you're not aware, I am an official Phasmophobia community content creator. Along with Insom and JoJo and Dream Warrior and Psychohypnotic and Nuzgard and Dust the Viking and all those good people. All right, uh, so the code, let's get the code up. Am I up? Okay, yeah, I'm up. Let's get the code up. Code is 383961. How long are you going to stream? Probably till like, I don't know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Yes, it's going to be a crazy stream day. We got mine boy in here. Hello. Hey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, hey, Andreas. I am doing well. We got a long day planned out. All right, let me start rolling the challenges. We'll start with mine boy, and then cloud killer, and then honest, and then we'll do myself last. All right, to the wheel. What kind of challenges are we going to have here at the Asylum? So, starting out with Mind Boy, we each get two challenges. How late is it for me? It is 3.20 p.m. Ghost Heckler, so he has to heckle the ghost. And... One item. Oof. That's going to be tough. Because one item means the flashlight counts as an item, too. Alright, Mind Boy, you have Ghost Heckler and one item inventory. So that includes the okay. flashlight, so if you bring a flashlight, you can't bring another item. <laughs> Alright, Cloud Killer's turn. Glow light, glow stick for a light. And no escape, so he has to stay in the asylum until we figure it out. Alright, Cloud Killer, you have glow light, so or glow stick light, so you can't use any light source outside of a glow stick. Uh, you can use like the building lights, but no flashlights and no UV light, just a glow stick, no candles either. Um, 
And then you also can't escape the asylum until we uh, have the evidence. Okay, and Johannes. We got Ghost Heckler for Johannes. So that might help. And Object Obsession. Uh, Johannes, do you have a mic? Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite object at the asylum? Hmm. It's gonna be a tough oh, one. Okay, so let's say you have to steal four coffee cups because you have object obsession. So you have to find four coffee cups to bring back to the van, and you also have to heckle the ghost when it starts to hunt. <laughs> okay, so just to be clear, Mind Boy has Ghost Heckler and one item inventory. Cloud Killer has no escape and glow stick light only, and you have Ghost Heckler, and you have to steal four coffee cups. Okay, and then let me see mine. What do I get? What do I get? Moonwalk. Just don't let it be a whiff and it'll be fine. And touch the ghost. <laughs> oh, man. And I have to moonwalk and touch the ghost. <sighs> I'm probably going to die because I have to walk backwards and touch the ghost. How do I walk backwards and touch the ghost? That's going to be tough. I'm going to have to touch it early. Because if you touch it while it's hunting it now... M like MJ? Yeah, and I have to touch the ghosts, which is going to be hard. Because if you touch it while it's hunting now, it'll kill you. It kills the, It goes after the closest player. Yep. Unless if it's a banshee. Well, even if it's a banshee, it'll go after you if you, if you get next to it. Wheel is still on. All right, we're waiting on people to load in. We're just chilling. Oh yeah, Bray Bray, I let viewers play with me all the time. We're just chilling here in the lobby, waiting for two. Two moss. All right. Practicing holding down that S key. No other, no W A or D. Just Sing it up. Out here, essing it up. Hey, but we're still essing it up. I gotta touch the ghost. Wait, why did a banshee kill me when one of my friends were closer to the ghost than me? Did they touch it, or they? Because a banshee will still target you, but if you like get on top of the ghost, it's gonna kill the person on top of it. At least that's what the latest patch had said. Latest patch said the ghost will now target whoever's closest to it. Um, as far as, like, if you're, like, messing around with it. Like, a lot of times before, like, if the ghost was targeting your buddy, you could just go walk up to it and do whatever and make fun of it and stuff like that. Um, as long as your buddy didn't cut a corner and lose line of sight. But now with that latest patch, it should make it so if you get, like, next to it, it's just going to grab you. It's not going to mess around. We're waiting on one. One more. Uh, hey, Sienna. Wanna wanna see the new EMF during hunt? Oh, here we go. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment oh, and prepare accordingly before that starting okay. the investigation. We have I've Dorothy Davis. Know, ghost photo, ghost or motion sensor, and salt. Nothing to report. Uh, I, I know like what that place is. Here. I know what the place uh, is, but yeah. I don't know if I'm it's right at the bottom. I'm only taking a thermometer. Okay. I'll grab a book and a thermo. Oh, what was it? Dorothy, I believe. Dorothy! Dorothy! You think Banshee still work as intended? I haven't got to play with multiple people, so it's possible. I've just been doing, uh... I did a public game last time, my last video. Dorothy! Oh, 
do see stairs. Oh no! Chat fell. Okay, chat's back up. Chat gets knocked down, and it gets up again. Ain't never gonna knock chat down. Dorothy! Ooh. Getting close to the breaker. Breaker, breaker. Touching the ghost is gonna be so hard moving backwards. Uh, the breaker's right over there. Dorothy! Give us a sign! Too far away still. There we go. Dorothy. Give us a sign. Where are you? Come on, Dorothy. Much better. I can't fight now. Not find her. Can't even see where I'm going. <laughs> here we go. Right here is the stairs. You made it upstairs. Don't drop us. <laughs> it's too slippery. Why would you cover yourself in soap if you didn't want me to drop you? Dorothy! Don't you dare drop us again. Okay, I won't drop you if you like that video. You like the if you like the stream, I won't drop you again. If you don't, can't promise that. It may or may not happen again. Dorothy! Come on, Dorothy. Oh. Where are you? Oh, I appreciate it, some guy. I just keep in mind that YouTube and Twitch and all that's a marathon, not a sprint. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, keep improving day by day, and then eventually we'll get there. Dorothy, give us a sign. It'd be so much easier if I didn't have to walk backwards. Dorothy, where is she? This Dorothy girl. Uh, I like the video vent text. Don't you dare drop us. Dorothy. Uh, hey Orange. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, 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 stream. That'd be cool if I had a sound effect like that. I had to do a sound effect myself. That's all right, though. I'm good with sound effects. I'm like uh, Eddie Murphy. Does anyone know Ooh. where the power box is? It should be on already. It's in the basement by the elevator. Yeah, yeah the power box is already on. It's in the basement by the elevator. Okay, I try, I try to turn off the switches, nothing's happening. I wonder if they turned it, I don't know if it turned it back off, but my temperatures are still normal. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, okay, elevator. Yeah, I noticed that too. Dorothy! Oh, we got uh, another Twitch follow. Poor old Yoda. 
Thank you for that Twitch follow. Yeah, old Yoda doesn't get old Yoda doesn't get any cred anymore now that there's baby Yoda. Oh, I heard a heard a footstep over here on the left side up top. Gotta figure out where it came from. Oh, was that it? Right there? I got it. It's in here. Left side, uh, there's a storage right by the elevator that it's in. On the other side of the elevator. Okay. Uh, Kira9, thank you for that Twitch follow. Kira reminds me of uh, Death Note. Here we go. Alright. I'm gonna stay inside and try to touch her backwards so I can stop <laughs> trying to touch her. <laughs> Dorothy! Dorothy! Like my club effects, my club sound effects. Boots and cats and 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 boots and cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Help me, I only got mumbled. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Dorothy. Come on, Dorothy. Dorothy. She's so quiet now. No ghost writing yet. Well, I have a text. I have a thermometer. Dorothy. Whoop. I'm the only one here. <laughs> My teammates haven't found it yet. Yeah, it's right by the stairs on the left side. Little storage room. It's upstairs. Mm -mm. Dorothy! I hear you stepping. Oh, she moved my book. Oh, we got another Twitch follow. Adam Crazy Five, thank you for that Twitch follow. Dorothy, I need to touch you. Do you have any fingerprints? I made it. Ooh, that sounds like an EMF close to five, maybe a four. Uh, it was three. Oh. No fingerprints, I guess. Ooh, another Twitch follow. Uh, Barb Gree. Barb Gree, thank you for that Twitch follow. No, I don't see any. Okay, at least it's not a Revenant. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. You got fingerprints? Yeah, it's on the bottom. Oh, the door. Uh, Andrus off. Thank you for that Twitch follow. Okay. So, we got fingerprints. We don't have freezing. We don't have writing yet. Maybe it's a gin. We might have a we have a bush cam. Um and what's the other one? Spirit box. Oh! Can't touch it yet. It's hunting. Oh no, she's by Oh no, she's by me! No 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 no. Oh shoot. I always die on the crab walk. No, no, table, table! Oh man! I always die on the moonwalk. I always die on the moonwalk. Oh, there's a table behind me. <laughs> Every time I die, it's because of the moonwalk challenge. Oh. I touched it though, I touched the ghost. We completed one of our challenges. One challenge completed. I need a flashlight. I'll take that. Uh, I don't see him die. 50% completion. <laughs> the one I joined, he died. Oh. Okay, did it unlock the doors? I think it unlocked. 
Oh no, is it hunting again? No, okay. I was about to say, look at that. It just jumped to 10 real quick and went back down. That was crazy. I touched the ghost. I know, I completed that objective. <laughs> Oh, we have two people dead. Cloud Killer died too. That was a ghost hunt. That was a ghost hunt. This gin is taking names. Jeez. And this Mind Boy only has one inventory item. Five dollar donation from uh, Ugly Moss. Thank you, Mass. Appreciate the five dollar donation. I got two people dead. Oh man, you gotta figure it out. I'm ghosting it. It's a gin. So what we had was, we had fingerprints. No, wait, we had fingerprints. It's, no, it's got to be a polter. Wait, probably EMF five, right? No. Oh man, it's hunting again. Is that another hunt? Oh, we have a uh, another Twitch follow too. <laughs> Donation hype. This is what I get for dying. Thank you, Ugly Mass, for that $5 donation. It's going to be a great streaming day. We got a lot of stuff planned for today. She wants everyone dead. For real, she's hunting again. Dorothy is not playing games. I'm glad we found her, though. So Mind Boy has one inventory item, and Johannes is Ghost Heckler and also... Um, Object obsession. He needs to get four coffee cups. He only has two. He still needs to get two more coffee cups. I only had two people dead. I know this ghost wants is out for revenge. It's trying to kill people. I know it feels like it's a demon with how it's hunting, but it's not. It's crazy. It's gotta be. It's not freezing, so it can't be a banshee or a wraith either. So it's gotta be a spirit. A revenant? No, revenant would be writing. It didn't write in the book. Spirit or poltergeist? And it didn't catch us either. So either poltergeist or spirit. Oh, look at that! Again, what is going on here? What is this? It's like ten, and then like a few seconds, ten. Jeez, you would think that's a demon, but it's not freezing. Well, Let me go see if there's any ghost writing. Oh, we got a Twitch follow. Uh, Tanu Vale Smiles, thank you for that Twitch follow. Maybe it is a spirit. Spirit or poltergeist. Let me see if there's any writing. I think spirit would be ghost writing, right? Uh, if there is writing. Spirit, yeah. If there's writing, it's a spirit. If not, it's a poltergeist. How long have you been doing streaming? Uh, I've been streaming on YouTube for a little bit now, but I streamed on Twitch eight times. So we got affiliate the seven times, and then we got 35 subs last time we streamed on Twitch. How's our writing? No writing. It's a poltergeist. Oh, look, it just chunked the book. Just chucked it over here. Look, it's by my feet now. That's yeah, a poltergeist. Weird. That's a very aggressive poltergeist. Jeez. That's insane. That is the most aggressive poltergeist I've ever had in close to 400 hours of Phasmophobia. Psych goes up on the charity stream next? Nice. I wonder if he's going to go potato mode. He should if he's not. I think he will be. Psycho's always fun to watch. <laughs> hey, Evergreen. Yep, we're doing YouTube, Twitch, and... Twitch or YouTube stream, Twitch stream, and then charity stream. Another hunt's going on. Jesus, this poltergeist. Hey Bronte, what's up? We're just dead. <laughs> we 
we're just dead. You know, we got this poltergeist that has hunted, like, I don't know, like six times. In, like, a few minutes. This is the most aggressive poltergeist I've ever faced. Uh, let me see how... Okay, Dodoro is still streaming. Probably for another 15 minutes, and then we got... Um, we got Psycho uh, Hypnotic up next. Let me see the stream schedule. Here's the schedule. So Dodoro is up right now. After Dodoro, we got Psycho Hypnotic, and then Dinky, and then uh, Paisley Panda, and then me. So one, two, three. So two, four, six hours until I'm up. Uh oh, another hunt. Oh no, someone's still out there. I wonder where he is. Is he on the map? I don't see him. His green dot. Oh, there he is. He's in the very corner over there. That's a really small room he's hiding in. Oh, a message. Done hunting. Oh, he's free. Uh, Jennifer Moyer, thank you for that Twitch sub to your one. Appreciate that. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't hide from a poltergeist. You got to on this one. We got another Twitch follow. Twilight002, thank you for that Twitch follow. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, governor. You're not in the game. This bolter guys I would hide from. This one's crazy. Look at this. Another hunt. Another hunt. He'll find a way, Pumka. <laughs> Why is some people names highlighted blue, by the way? Those are moderators. Those are YouTube moderators. They're also moderators in my Discord and on my Twitch as well. That's why they have a little wrench next to their name as well. Oh, there she crawling. She crawling. We see her. Uh-oh. Where is he at? Oh, he's way over here. He's fine. He needs to get inside, though. They don't have long. The ghost is just going to keep being aggressive. You leave for 10 minutes and come back and you're dead? Yeah. Walking backwards always kills me. Out of all the challenges, walking backwards is the one that gets me. Every time. Like clockwork. Let's go ahead and help out, um, let's help out our viewer with the uh, blue cups. There should be one in the uh, kitchen area. Right over here to the right. Yeah, walking backwards is rough. Especially in the asylum because everything looks kind of the same. You never know when a bed is going to pop up behind you. 
Yeah, moonwalking and touching the ghost. So we accomplished one of our missions. Here's a blue cup for our friend. Let's bring the blue cup to our friend over here. I don't know if there's four. I know there's three. I said four of them. I'm sure there's another one. I just don't know where I'd find it. Look, there he is. <laughs> He's hiding. So good. Such a good hider. But at least I got touching the ghost. I got that objective right. I completed that one. So, not a complete failure. Plus, I figured out the ghost room. And then, that helped us get the fingerprints. One, two, three, four. Look, we got... Look, there's plenty of blue cups. Look at all these blue cups. All the blue cups. I knew there was at least four blue cups in here. Can I stack the blue cups on top of each other? Ooh, oh, can I can I build a ladder? Nope. Oh. Who's gonna die next? We have two people. Sacrifices have been made, but we're stronger for it. Uh, Mind Boy and Johannes. So the thing we have, we have fingerprints. We don't have freezing temperatures, so it can't be a wraith or a banshee. So it's either a revenant, a spirit, or a poltergeist. Both spirit and revenant, you have to have fingerprints. And it's not a revenant because it chased us. And we were able to walk backwards away from it. We just ran into something. So it's not a revenant. So that usually leaves spirit or poltergeist. So if it's not writing, it's not a spirit. And we'll check again real quick right now. But there wasn't writing in it the entire time. And it kept throwing the books around. Mm -hmm. away, please. Let's see if there's writing. No writing. Yeah, there's nothing in the book. So it's got to be a poltergeist. Did you miss out? Uh, we just did two runs and now we're doing viewer games. This is our first viewer game, so you didn't miss out too much. <laughs> oh, where's she at? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna have a rip. I think they forgot that they're supposed to be ghost hecklers. I know Johannes is supposed to be a ghost heckler. So is Mind Boy. They're both supposed to be ghost hecklers. They're not supposed to just be quiet. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be heckling the ghost. That means you gotta talk. Barbecue and gaming? That's good plans. You can game and watch. I do that with a lot of people. Like, I'll be watching them while I'm playing a game at the same time. I'll have them kind of like, it's good background noise. Watch a streamer and then be playing a game. Especially if it's a game where you don't have to hear what's going on. Like Path of Exile, the game I play a lot. You just run around and kill stuff. And then loot stuff. Kill and loot. You don't need to hear what's going on. So that way I, I usually have a streamer going on in my ear. I like to put a headphone in with the streamer and I'll put my headset on and so that way I can listen to the game and listen to the streamer at the same time. That's how I usually do it. It's gotta be a boosh. There's no ghost writing and we ruled out everything else. It's either, because we got fingerprints so it's not, so that leaves a uh, Wraith, Banshee, Revenant, Spirit, or Poltergeist. 
It's not freezing, so there's no Wraith or Banshee. It's not riding, so there's no Revenant or Spirit. So it has to be a Poltergeist. It has to be. So that means there has to be a Boosh. Hey, Storm. Greetings from, or good morning from Japan. I want to go to Japan someday. Watashi wa mikeru desu. Dozo yoroshiku onegashimasu. Genki desu ka? I took Japanese in college. Eight hundred subscribers before I reach the partnership. Got a thousand. Oh no! They're supposed to be heckling the ghosts. They just need to get out of here. <laughs> they just need to go. It should be obvious what the ghost is. At least they didn't know we had fingerprints. But it should be pretty obvious what it is. There I am. There's my body. Yeah, they're not doing their their objectives. They're not doing their objectives. Part of their objectives is to heckle the ghost. That means you gotta keep talking whenever it's hunting, and they're just being quiet and hiding. <laughs> no, this is a private lobby. We're doing viewer games. We're doing viewer games. It's a poltergeist. It's a poltergeist. Definitely a poltergeist. Where's the other person? They're both just roaming around. They're not even going near the ghost room. The ghost room's on that side. It's that first storage room up there by the right by the stairs. They're just going off wherever. Why? What's happening? Uh, Vedic streams at 3 a.m. for me as usual. Yup, that's the thing about time zones. That's how time zones work, unfortunately. I stream whenever time I can stream my time zone. Hopefully it works out for other people, but if not, there's always the VODs. But in order for me to stream probably at a proper time for you, it'd have to be like 3 a.m. my time, and there's no way that's happening. <laughs> I'm not staying up to 3 a.m. Forget that. I'm too old. I can hardly stay up till uh, 1 a.m. Last night, I went to 1 a.m. and I was tired. I was falling asleep. Why is the activity 5? It's just uh, hunching a lot, and it's a poltergeist. The poltergeist interact with a lot of objects. This guy's been throwing stuff around like crazy. But yeah, if it was if it was actually MF5, it'd be a Banshee or a Revenant. We don't have freezing temperatures, and we ran away from it without it catching us until we bumped into a wall. Only because we bumped into a wall did it catch us. So it's not a Revenant, it's not a Banshee, so it's not EMF5. It's just moving a lot of objects at once, so it looks like an EMF5, but it's not. Let's go grab our donut while we're waiting for them to get out of the asylum. <laughs> They must be new to the asylum. They're like going the opposite way of the ghost room and of the van. <laughs> it's like, no, there's nothing over there. What are you doing? There's nothing over there. Let's deliver our donuts while we're waiting. Then I can chat with chat. That's what chat's all about, is chatting. So I could chat and chat, and then I can deliver donuts. What are they waiting for? I'm not sure. I think we told them on broadcast that it was fingerprints, and they should see, oh, there's no ghost riding, and there's no freezing temperature, so it's obviously a poltergeist. What 
are they doing? Oh, they're hiding? See, they're supposed to be heckling the ghost. They're not supposed to be hiding during a hunt. Yeah. I think they're trying to get the objectives, but the ghost room is way over there on the other side of the asylum. The ghost room's on the left side. They're all over here on the right side, walking around. They're trying to get objectives. They're doing the wrong way. <laughs> One of them's level a thousand something. He must just play the smaller maps. Sometimes these bigger maps can be intimidating to people. A lot of people won't play them, but they're really easy, especially solo. These big maps are incredibly easy solo. I mean, think about it. You got these long hallways, so unless you got a revenant, it's not gonna catch you. And even if you do have a revenant, if a revenant spawned on the way over there on the left side, and you were over here on the right side, like getting donuts, it's not gonna get you, even if it's moving crazy fast. It's really easy to hear where the ghost is in these big maps when you're solo. Yeah, but what's that here? Why here? Maybe I should lead them? I told them where it was. I said it's on the uh, left side, right by the stairs, the storage room, upstairs. Left side, upstairs, right by the staircase, storage room. But they're on the right side. I don't understand. Ventex likes to talk a lot when he's dealing with the Revenant. Oh yeah, I talk a lot when I'm dealing with any ghost. <laughs> but I do push I do push it with the Revenant. I kind of uh, push my luck a lot. Second donut. Yay, we got the donuts. Let's see if I can catch it. Oh! Hold on. I was moving at the same time. Yeah! Oh no! Got it. Got it. Easy mode. Uh, oh! I caught it! <laughs> right before it fell. Those are juggle skills right there. Good old juggle skills. Might come in handy one day. Who knows? You only see a floating donut box? Maybe I can lead them with the donut. With the sweet, sweet smell of some sugary deliciousness. Follow the donut. Follow the donut. It's a poltergeist. Turn on the volume to the stream. It's a poltergeist. I know, I might leave pretty soon. I knew it was Portuguese, just I guess. Where's this other guy? Oh, they're both in here. No, that's the other dead guy. I think he's the other dead guy. This other guy's way over here on the right side. Why? Let's go see if I can lure him with the donut. Alright, let me go try to lure this guy over here that's hiding in the room with the donut. Maybe I can show him the way. Maybe he's unfamiliar. He's not familiar with the map. The interesting thing is that the map actually has signs to tell you where to go. If you're paying attention. Mm -mm. Okay, let me see if I can lure him. With the sweet, sweet smell of donuts. He was over here. He was off on this side. Here he is. Here it is. Here's the donut. Follow the donut. Hey, follow follow the donut. Follow the donut. Right here. This way. Follow the donut. Right here. Can't see. Here we go. The donut right here. You see it? 
Yeah, see if it does not Okay. Come backwards. Go backwards. Just go straight. Go straight until you hit the wall, and then turn right. I'm gonna lead him. Just keep going straight until you hit the wall. Okay, now turn right. Okay, go straight until you hit the wall, and then go left. Okay, now go left. Okay, go straight. There's a little bed you have to go around. Keep going straight. Straight, straight, straight. Okay, and when you hit the wall, turn left. Turn left. Go straight. And when you hit the roll all, go right. Okay, now, now it's right uh, to the left of you is the door. To the main lobby. There you go. Let's go. Yay. Oh, crap. We saved him. We lured him back. <laughs> yeah. I think he's level 120 something, so he's never done really. Uh, or he's not familiar with the uh, layout of the asylum. It can be kind of confusing until you do it a few times, but it's very uh, symmetrical. You have the middle area, the right, and the left. Or the left and the right. Depending on how you're looking at it. But I always look at it from where you enter. The middle area, left, right, and it's pretty much the same thing. It just goes down a hallway, down a hallway. And then if you go downstairs, same thing. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. We got a poultry! This has been the most aggressive poltergeist I've ever faced, though, for real. For real! We're free! Freedom! Alright. Now we can leave. Wait, where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Why is he out there? We, we just led him to the door. He was in the lobby. What is he doing? He was here. That's the other guy. I know. I don't understand. I led him all the way. The person that you, the person that you got to the door is here. Oh, you're... Okay, where is he going then? It's a poltergeist! Yeah, I'm right here. It's obviously a poltergeist! <laughs> He's dead? I hope so! <laughs> so we can leave! <laughs> Jeez, this turned like an hour-long asylum. I'm about to just leave. I don't want to be rude or anything, but I got other people wanting to play the game. <laughs> He's trying to get ghost orbs? We already know, though. There's no point in getting ghost orbs. Uh, I don't see you on the map. It's completely pointless because you... You know you have fingerprints. You know you have fingerprints. You know you don't have freezing temperatures. You know you don't have ghost riding. So the only option... The only option is Poltergeist. That's it. Have you tried the forest? Yes. I'm looking forward to the uh, the next forest game. Son of Forest.
Yeah, spirit box will be poltergeist. Spirit box will be poltergeist. It's between spirit, wraith, and poltergeist. Not freezing, no ghost riding. Gotta be a poltergeist. Guess what I've been saying. Yes, I've tried the forest. That's a lot of fun. I didn't really get that far though. I made okay, a base I'm with a friend. I'm actually level one thousand and one hundred, but I never done a sound. But oh. I never done a sound without a flashlight. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Right now, the games I currently have installed are Seven Days to Die, Devour, Monstrum 2, Path of Exile, Valheim, and Rimworld. Those are my current playlist games. Yeah, it's done hunting now. Okay, good. It is a poltergeist. I know, the activities. It's been hunting like crazy. It's the most aggressive poltergeist ever. Oh no! Yeah, this is weird. I get back up there. A little bit more to the side. Oh, I don't know if I can get it up there. Not crouching. I have to stand up to get it up there. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Uh, what's your take on Valheim? It's a lot of fun. For $20 early access, it's got a lot going for it. I'm interested in exploring it more, getting more familiar with the crafting system. I kind of hate the uh, fall damage. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, the fall damage is stupid. I like fell off the smallest little like edge and I just died. My ankles just shattered. But other than the fall damage, everything else has been enjoyable. There's not a lot of... Uh, Diversity to the regular mobs that I found so far. All I found was boars, uh, necks, neko, no necks, yeah, boars, necks, uh, graylings. I do. I do. And say, I do. Say say it. It's gotta be a difficult <laughs> test. I mean, there's no other options by process of elimination. There's no freezing temperatures and there's no ghost writing. Do you have any input? Do you have any input? Okay. It's got to be... Yeah, that's what I was saying, Stone. The fall damage is l loony in that game. <laughs> Older guys, told you. Got it. Got it. Yep. Nice. GG's. Well, GGs. even though two of us died. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a long asylum. Yeah, sometimes it's better to do a process of elimination with the evidence than just try to get the evidence. The person that had the no escape, I think he died a long time ago, so it's not like... Not like he couldn't get out of there. I think that was the guy... Uh, the other guy that joined us in the afterlife. Uh, let's do another one. Try to make this one faster. Hopefully we don't get the asylum. <laughs> the asylum took way too long. Uh, window screen. Oh, there's the uh, there's the phasmophobia community uh, schedule for today. So right now we're currently on Psycho. He's playing. He's got a flamingo hat. That's awesome. <laughs> But uh, right now, Psycho's going, and then Dinky, uh, Pil uh, Pilsley Panda, and then us. And then after us, it's the Violin Chick and JoJo. That is how it is today. Let's roll. What map are we going to? No, I'm not doing Asylum again. <laughs> Tanglewood, yes. There we go. This should be faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we died. Ugh. We died. 
freaking walk backwards challenge always gets me. I always die from walking backwards. Especially when you combine walking backwards with touching the ghost. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Why not crab walk? Fortunately, the wheel didn't tell us to do crab walk. The challenge wheel said, go in there and moonwalk it to death. And it, we ended up dying ourselves. Uh, motion sensor, sound sensor, sandy pills. Did we not add sandy pills? Interesting. Ghost riding, infrared. Longest game you had in forever. Yeah, it took a while. I would have, I probably would have been a lot better if I didn't have to moonwalk. I could have got all the evidence and we would have been good. But I died early on because of moonwalking and so nobody knew what it was for a long time. If I didn't die so early with the moonwalk, I probably, probably wouldn't be like, okay, we got fingerprints. All right, we got a spirit box. All right, we got the ghost orbs. All right, we're gone. Let's go. Uh, let's, so we're at Tanglewood. Let's put the code up. Let me get the window up. Here it is. 942261. 942-261. Yeah, the asylum's difficult, though, when you don't have a light and you don't have anybody to navigate. I understand that one person getting lost in the dark. No flashlight. That's rough. <laughs> it's like he just ended up on the right side, <laughs> the opposite side. All right. One moss. Uno mas, por favor. There we go. Let's roll the items now. Oh, shoot. I need to get, uh, yeah, not asylum. Oh, Mallow's in. Good, good, good. I forgot. Did I join the wrong game? No, you're good, Mallow. Hey. I'm about to roll the challenges for Exiled, and then Loki, and then Mallow. Yeah, you're good, Mallow. You're right where you need to be. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Mallow, what is... What is your wife's name? We'll give a shout out as well. It's Mallow's wife's uh, birthday today. 30th birthday. She's as old as I am now. I don't know if he can hear me. I know he can hear me probably here, but I didn't say it in game. Hello, Mallow. Hello? My voice, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can yeah, hear it's, you. Uh, Allie. Allie? Okay. Allie's her name. It's Allie's 30th birthday, everybody. So can we get some happy birthday? Feels happy birthday in the chat. Yeah, 30th. Can you hear me? She's as old as I am. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, it's uh, Allie, is her name. Give yep. some happy birthdays in the chat for Allie. There we go. All right, uh, exile. Let's do his uh, his challenges. Exile has to crab walk, and he also has to no electronics. Okay, exile. You have to crab walk, and you can't use electronics. Uh, Loki. What is Loki gonna do? Loki has... He's a human tripod. So we can't use a boosh can. We have to use Loki. And glow stick. <laughs> Loki, you are glow stick light only. And you're also our human tripod. So you're our only boosh cam. 
And then for Mallow. You should remove all the cameras and stuff. Mallow has UV light only. And <laughs> glow stick light only and UV light only is not a possibility. <laughs> Candle light only and UV lights only is not a possibility. Come on. Come on, wheel. Imposter. Ooh. All right, Mallow, you have the UV light only, and you're also the imposter. I have not done that before. What's the imposter? So it's kind of just you like... Have to sabotage us. Yeah, it's kind of like what you think in uh, Among Us. You're familiar with the Among Us. You have to try to kill us and sabotage the mission. All right. Yeah, so like um, you could do stuff like wasting all the sanity pills, wasting all the photos, burning all the smudge sticks. You could do all that stuff. Yeah, your goal is none of us make it out alive, and if we do make it out alive, we get it wrong. All right, works for me. And then let's see my roll. Uh, touch the ghost. No, <laughs> again. Touch the ghost. I can't touch the ghost twice. I can touch it once. That's it. No electronics. Okay, with a candlelight, I have to touch it with a candlelight. All right, and I have to touch the ghost, and I can't use electronics either. All right, let's go. Okay, let's do this. It's been a while since you played Phasmophobia. Such a great game. It's fun, especially with challenges. Uh, let me pull the game up now. We're waiting for people to join the lobby. There's one, two... Three. One more. Our I just need Mallow. Not here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, at least I don't have to walk backwards. I'm happy about that. I can touch it with a candle, that's fine. Here we go. Alright, we got Thomas Thomas. Thomas Thomas is a ghost. Yep. You hope it's a banshee and the imposter is the target? Thomas! Thomas, 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 Thomas. Oh, we got uh, Meg You Meow. Uh, Meg You Meow. Thank you for that Twitch follow. Thomas. Oh, he's already wasting the salt. I hear it. <laughs> Ooh, that was a door. Sound like it was the utility, maybe. I'll try. I'm gonna try to hide the book so the imposter doesn't see it. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. We got Thomas Thomas over here. Uh, is Smudgy an objective? Let's go with the Smudgy before the imposter burns them all. Let's go ahead and smudge it up. We know it's around there, either in the kitchen or in the uh, utility room, so we'll smudge both of them. That way we can get the objective before the imposter destroys the items. There we go. Thomas, Thomas. Ghost riding. Okay, we smudged it up. It appears that it's in the kitchen. What else do we have? Crucifix and EMF. I uh, can't touch the EMF. That's an electronic. Oh, where's the other UV light? No, 
I need a glow stick. He hit it somewhere. What else can I use? Which room was the ghost writing in? Uh, kitchen. We got our human tripod over here. I don't see any bushes. I guess <laughs> I guess the human tripod was it wouldn't count as an electronic, would he? <laughs> I guess that's a, a loophole right there. Human tripod's not electronic. Uh, we need to get the glow stick. I feel like it's a revenant. I'm feeling a revy. Oh, he has a glow stick. That's exiled. Oh, it felt weird. I felt like I couldn't get through there. Oh no! Okay, good. Should be the uh, human, the human tripod. The the human tripod's using a normal video camera. I think the imposter's using a head cam. Oh shoot! Trying to throw us off. I feel like it's a Revy. I base that on no evidence except for ghost writing. Email five. Revenant, Shade, or Oni? Ghost Orb? Uh, ghost? No, Ghost Orb. Was it Spirit Box or Ghost? Uh, or uh, not, not Ghost Writing? Uh, fingerprints. Have we found fingerprints yet? No! No, we haven't. I can't get out! The door's locked! <laughs> it's okay. Hopefully that means he's holding the door, in which case if it is a revenant... Can the human tripod move a little bit towards the left? Yeah, there's orbs. It's a shade. Shade. Okay. I'm gonna try to get the crucifix evidence. <laughs> I think I'm stuck in here with you, but you're stuck in here with me. This is like War Shark. Uh, like human tripod, can you um, come out here and get a EMF reader? Oh, I was trying to close the door on the imposter. <laughs> Oh, by the way, the imposter got the smudge stick objective. Try oh no, I did that. Waste them. No, I got the smudge oh, wait, stick early. Um, yeah. yeah, I figured he would go for him, so I went yeah, for him. Go get the other ones now. Uh, okay. EMF, we can't... Only, uh... Only the human tripod can use the EMF. Only, uh... Only Loki can use the EMF for us. There's one more EMF up here. Look, he's waiting to close the door. <laughs> we'll close the door on y'all. Imposter. Roles have been reversed. I'm the imposter now. Watch, someone's gonna hide, and then you just walk through and open their door. That's what you gotta do. Alright, we need someone to go into the van and await the crucifix. Ooh, footstep. Well, I'm gonna go check out. Should get a hunt soon. Uh, crucifix is not done. 
Is this the imposter or the human tripod? I can't tell. Is that the human tripod? I think so. Yeah, boosh. I saw a boosh. It's all boosh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, look at that. Perfect. Oddly satisfying. Let's see. Let's check in on the uh, charity stream. How are we doing over there? 25,000? 25,000. Yes, Psycho's on his potato grind. He's got the potato overlay up. It's crazy. We crushed the 20,000 mark. Let's see, Psycho's got about 30 minutes, and then after Psycho, it's Dinky. Gonna be Dinky, uh, Palesy Panda, and then me. That is a sneaky bone. Yes, Jess, a potato. Uh, can the human tripod come outside? Insects. Dude, we got a. That's pretty cool, but come look at where the bone is. Oop. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, no. It's oh, did it kill the imposter? I think that was the imposter. Did the imposter die? I think that was the imposter. I think the imposter tried to loop it. With the UV light. No, no, they were locking us out. The, the imposter was trying to lock us out. Oh, I see a UV light over here. Wait. If it's on the floor, then... It looks like there's a, blue, a purple glow by the window. Like, even without your without your glow stick. Hold on, that means it would be over here. Maybe he was in the basement? Wait. Why is this light on? Is he in the basement? No. Where's his body? Oh, yeah, the imposter died. Oh, no! I think they were running towards the lockers. Oh. It's, like, right there. Quite didn't make it. Jess says, can't Anyways, wait for the charity stream? Proud of you. Thank you, Jess. I can't wait either. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, whoever has the, whoever can he died in the locker. Down. Oh, okay, anyways, um, whoever can use the photo cameras, um, the bones inside of the... That's strange that he died inside the locker. All the crucifix got used, let's just take the photos and get out. <laughs> I've, already, I've already donated, Famka. I've already donated and Jess is going to donate whenever uh, I'm up on the charity stream. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I've definitely donated. That'd be kind of sketch. Right. <laughs> if you're part of a charity stream for a charity and you don't even donate yourself, I thought I thought that'd be like a little bit weird. But I donated the first day. I donated yesterday uh, during um, whose stream? Uh, during Cyclone stream, he was the very first one up. Where are you? I'm so surprised that Mallow died in the locker. That shouldn't be a thing. Look at the the flashlight. Look at that flashlight glow from the on the uh, cabinets. Oh, that's from the light in here. Where are you? The light in here was glowing up the cabinets. Weird. Mm -mm. Perfectly in the sink. I think we're about done. We got um, a decent amount of photos. We got all the objectives done, and we know the ghost type. I think my sanity's too high. My sanity's too high for a hunt. Uh, let me grab the laptop. Here we go. Grabbing that laptop. Oh, I can get a hunt right here. How many people have you killed? Oh, wait. Yeah. 
How many people have you killed? How old are you? Yes. It's close! Let's see if he'll kill us. Let's see if we're dead. Ooh! It's trying. It's trying. Nope. It's trying so hard. It's opening my doors. Ooh! No, 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 no! Ooh! That was way too close. I see his axe! No! No! <laughs> Come on. Bring that axe in here. Thought, thought. Fastest door closer in phasmophobia history. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's trying so hard to get inside here. Yeah, I think I survived. Alright, I got what I wanted. <laughs> How, I go, how am I going to touch him? Oh, yes, I forgot I have to touch him. I have to touch him still. Okay, I can do this. I can touch him. I can do it. Oh, not without my lights on. Hey, lollipop. Come on, big hoss. Let's go. Show yourself. I know my sanity's low because I've been using the Ouija board. Oh yes, this is a wide selection. Leave I have to leave, leave, or or die, die. I have die, to touch die, him within die, those die, eight die, seconds. Die, die. That's probably the best thing. There he is. Touched him. That's not big. I touched him. I touched him. I'm gonna get into the locker with the dead body. We voted. The ghost voted out the imposter. Woo. I'm here with the body. There's three people in the locker. <laughs> you see uh, your head, and then this dead body, and then me. <laughs> I'm so much taller than she is. Touched the butt. I touched the ghost booty. Now we can get Excuse out of here. You, Mr. Thomas Thomas. Thomas! This way! You've seen Thomas Thomas. I mean, like, we just got one. Um, you've seen Michael Jackson. Um, you did have it. you seen John Johnson? No, I haven't seen that one. We yeah, did I it. That one. We touched the butt of the ghost, and we also was playing games with it in the closet. Oh, that was so close. The closet games. I thought we were dead. We'll just set this right here in the rain. It'll be fine. It'll still be lit by the time the family gets here. Yes, I hit. You have to do what you gotta do to survive, Jess. I did what I had to do. It's either hide in the dead lo body locker or die. You gotta make a choice. Two tan. Two hundred and ten doll hairs. Nice. GG's, everybody. GG, good day. Uh, see. Let's see where we're gonna go next. What time is it? It is four. I'm trying to time this. What time should the hypo psychohypnotics go in next? I guess we'll do. Is he still going? I think he's going for another 25 minutes. I guess we'll do like one more and then we'll jump over to Twitch and then go on Twitch for like three hours or so. And then I'll jump off because I'll have to get ready for my 
part of the charity stream from 10 to 12. Mm, 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 mm. 10 to 12, I gotta suit up. Alright, let's do one moss. And then I'm gonna have Mallow come in again, but it's gonna be Allie playing. So it's her birthday, it's Allie's birthday. So we're gonna get, let Allie play. Create a private. First off, where are we going? Let me get the wheel up. We are going to Bleasdale. That's good. I like a Bleasdale. Uh, I don't have Bleasdale on this. Let me make another private. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Create private. Bleasdale. There it is. All right. We survived that round, surprisingly. I was messing with it hard in the closet. Okay, let me get the code. Let me get it to Ali. It's her 30th birthday. And then let me get the game up so I can give the code to everybody else. Okay. Uh, code is... 591602. 591602 <laughs> There we go. All right, let me go ahead and roll the challenge wheel. Let's see. Let's get the wheel up on the screen so y'all can see what it's all about. Here we go. Roll the wheel. What we got? So for Allie, object obsession. No, we already have that. <laughs> and one item inventory. Oof. Alright, Allie. What is your favorite object in Bleasdale? I don't know if her mic works. Like yes. items that are already in there? I like yeah. the voodoo dolls. Okay, so you have to steal all the voodoo dolls and you only have one item inventory. So, pretty much, the voodoo dolls are going to drain her sanity and she can only carry one at a time. And if she's carrying one, she can't have a flashlight either. That's going to be a rough challenge. <laughs> Uh, Azrael. Let's see what Azrael challenges are. Odd job. So he has to crouch only. And ghost heckler. So he's a he's an angry little short guy. <laughs> Alright, Azrael. You're an angry elf. So you got odd job and you have to heckle the ghost when it hunts. Let's get it. He's the angry elf. All right, now we got Adam. Moonwalk. Oh, rip. <laughs> That's a rip for me. Ghost heckler. Oh, big rip. <laughs> All right, Adam, you have to moonwalk, and you also have to heckle the ghost. Oh, how fun. Yeah, that'd be a big rip for me. <laughs> I would die so quick. Uh, And what do I have? I have to... No I escape. Use Adam as bait. So I can't leave the house once I'm inside until we figure out what it is. And I'm, I also have to g heckle the ghost. I'm going to do another one. We have two ghost hecklers. Let's get something more fun. Candlelight. That's better. I like that. All right. And I can't leave the house and I have to only use a candle for my light source. That's All right. Very fun. Let's do it. Yeah, two ghost hecklers enough. I feel like if we keep getting ghost heckles, like, okay. Everybody's just yelling at the ghost. 
Ghost is going to end up being like uh, Pennywise at the end of chapter two. I don't think the I think uh, the Bleasdale is one of the places where the the candlelight doesn't preserve your sanity. I think that's one of the maps here where it doesn't. And the wheel's still on your stream. Okay, let me go ahead. We're still waiting in the van. Y'all are just missing some uh, van action right now. You're just missing van action. Waiting for one more. Fan action is best action. I don't know if I'd agree with you on that. <laughs> I think I'd have to strongly disagree. <laughs> uh, Danique97, thank you for that Twitch follow. But, mm, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Let me get my candle. Uh, the rough thing is, I'm not, I'm not even going to bring a candle. This candle's inside. That way I can carry two items. I'm going to bring a book and a glow stick. Oh, we got another uh, Osaka Brandon. Thank you for that Twitch follow. Okay, I got a glow stick and a book and a lighter, but I can't, I can't go outside, so that's all my objects pretty much for right now. No! The key! Get the key! Whoever's well, in the van! We can, we can bring yes. this stuff, right? Yeah, you can bring me stuff, but once I'm inside, I can't leave until we figure out what ghost it is. Alright, see? How exactly do I, uh, move and walk? Uh, you, you can only, yeah, you can only use the S key for movement. Uh, clean up aisle four. Thank you for the Twitch follow. I wonder what's on aisle four. Oh, another Twitch follow. Here we go. Puppy, uh... Puppies, Rakut, <laughs> Rakut, Rakahoot. <laughs> Thank you for that Twitch follow. Where's, uh, where, what's the challenge? What are the challenges? Uh, we have one person, we have Allie, who's, it's her 30th birthday. Uh, she has object obsession and she can only have one item in her inventory at a time. Uh, Azrael has to heckle the ghost in his odd job, so he has to crouch the entire time. And then our other player has Heckle the Ghost as well, and he's Moonwalk. So he has to walk backwards and Heckle the Ghost when he goes into hunt mode. And for me, I have to use a candlelight only for my light source. And I can't leave the house until we figure out what it is. Yeah, we definitely beat, we've definitely gotten over a thousand followers on Twitch for sure. Give me a sign! I heard an item fall. Uh, in the utility room, she knocked something over. And there's a big old footstep. Yeah, it's here in the utility. Freezing temperatures in utility. Look at that. We found it with just a candlelight. <laughs> no prints yet. Our glow stick right here. It'll show up on the window if there are going to be prints. Is there a loop on this map? Oh, we should do some. Uh, we should do some predictions on Twitch once we head over there after this match. We should do some predictions uh, for channel points. That'd be fun. And I'll I'll uh so I'll enable some sound alerts so that way we can play some fun sounds at the same time. Thank you. Where are you? Oh, let me get leave. How old are you? In case it's alone. I'll leave. Wait, just, uh, keep doing that? Sounds like we got EMF keep down keep here. Keep oh, that's right above us. <laughs> it sounds like so loud. 
How many voodoo dolls are there in here? There's, uh, there should be three voodoo dolls here. There's one in the cabinet right here, one in the corner up here, and one in the bedroom, like right below the stairs. So there's three voodoo dolls that Ali should be getting. Are you here? But I won't know. I can't leave until we figure out what ghost it is. So far, we have freezing temperatures. This candle, I feel like, I feel like this candle doesn't have any light to it. Like the candles inside the house. It was probably not programmed to be lights. It was before. It was. It seemed. It was like brighter than the regular candle before, but now there's no light to it. Or very little light. Look at that. These candles suck. I didn't realize how bad it was. Oh. Starlight044, thank you for that Twitch follow. It's either spirit box or cam. I'm bringing a cam up there right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this any better? No. All these candles suck. <laughs> I swear this lighter does just as mount as good as those candles do. <laughs> All right, Loll Lollipop, thank you for tuning in. Hey, Andy, we're about to get off YouTube though, but we're going to head over to Twitch instead. We're gonna move, mosey on over to Twitch because we have a charity stream at 10 o'clock. So we're gonna go ahead and move everything over to Twitch and we're gonna be on there for a while until our charity stream. Uh, then when we get closer to our time slot for the charity stream, we'll probably Spirit, uh, go storm. Go storm. Go storm. So it's gotta be a Yure, which would be writing. Oh no. So we'll probably log off like, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes before a charity stream so I can go ahead and get ready. Or maybe 30 minutes because we need a 10 minute buffer to get everything set up with the charity stream. So I gotta get dressed, I gotta change, and then, uh, yep, then we'll be ready for our charity time stop, or charity time slot for the Phasmophobia community. Oh no! Is it the moonwalk person? I bet it is. Alright, so we got Ghost Storm. Oh nope. Is it Allie? No, Allie! She just turned 30! <laughs> How dare you! Where'd she go? Someone died. Yeah, I think oh, Allie Allie's died. Dead. No, she just turned 30. It's not the birthday girl. <laughs> uh, dog what JPG, thank you for that Twitch follow. Yo, ghost, where you at? It's upstairs. It's upstairs. No. We about to have two deaths right now. Ain't gonna be me. We got the heckler doing the heckling. He's gonna have a rough time walking backwards and heckling. <laughs> That's gonna be so rough. Avenger. Hopefully I can by getting it right. Hopefully I can get it right. Oh no! Two deaths in Bleasdale! We need a picture and crucifix and witness ghost of it. Do we have writing? Yeah. Okay, I can leave then. Thank gosh, this candle sucks. What is your Twitch name? Same, Ventex. Are we trying to do all the objectives too or just the ghost? Yeah, we'll get the objectives as well. 
It's Ventex, just like the YouTube. Just like the Twitter. Just like the Discord, Ventex. Everything Ventex. Uh, Crucifix. I can actually get a decent candle. Oh, she has two voodoo dolls. Where'd the third one go? I wonder if she didn't get time to get it. We'll go ahead and get the voodoo doll for her. As a way of avenging Ali's death. Or Ali's death. Singular. Was that the moonwalk? Yep. Moonwalk's dead. And uh, so is Ali. The one item inventory. And the voodoo doll obsession. Yeah, but if you look up uh, Ventex on YouTube, you'll find it. Okay, we got the crucifix in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, shoot! Throwing stuff around, okay. We gotta get the other voodoo doll. Wait, did you grab the other crucifix? Yeah, I put it in there. So, okay, photo camera. camera on Adam's body. And. Yeah, capture a photo. That's the last one. We just got the crucifix objective, too. Wait, we have it already? Yep. Yeah, it completed already. Okay, let's see. crucifixes here. Let me put this one over here. Did that crucifix? Okay. I thought I picked it up. No, I did pick it up. Manifest yourself. I think the crucifix just disappeared in my hand. I thought there was two of them. There's one here. Yeah, I thought I, there was two on top of each other. And I thought I'd picked one up and then when I scrolled over, it was gone. Am I imagining that, chat, Or that actually happened? I thought I scrolled over to grab, to go over to my crucifix. It happened? I thought it did too. I thought there was two crucifixes on top of each other. I grabbed one I think and I scrolled over to throw it down. Should be able to attack us too, though. Did I get a picture? I got it. Yeah, I got wait, it in the you, blind. She appeared. Yeah. I heard the heartbeat, and I took a picture in the dark. <laughs> got better eyes than I do. Well, I, just, I heard it first. I just heard it, and I. Since I just have a candle, I couldn't see it. I just took a picture, hoping. We got it, though. We did it. Yep, that's all of them. We got the three voodoo dolls here, too. We've avenged you, Ali. We've got you, Ali. Happy 30th birthday. Let's get out of here. Happy birthday to you. Let's get out of here. Yes, $180. 170 experience. GG's. GG's. Happy birthday, Allie. Thank you. Thanks for letting me play. Of course. Anytime. I always do viewer games. Typically stream on YouTube on Saturdays, but you never know. As long as you hit that bell, you should be notified. I usually post it on Twitter as well. Alright, GG's, everybody. That was fun. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of a break here. I'm going to use the restroom, stretch my legs, probably take Toby Potty outside. Then we're going to switch on over to Twitch. So go ahead. If you're not following me on Twitch, go follow me on Twitch. We're going to go live here in a little bit, probably like 20 minutes. I just got to walk Toby, like I said, and get something to drink, use the restroom. So if you want to go ahead and take some time, get yourself a drink, get yourself a bite to eat, whatever you need to do. We're going to be over on Twitch here in a second. 
which is Ventex. So just look up Ventex and you'll find me. I'll see y'all guys here in a little bit. All right. Thank you for joining. See you soon on the Twitch.